And you guys have those updates every hour. We don't have to wait, you know, for the actual cone anymore. Mm -hmm. So you guys have been yeah. able to look at the data and give us. And, and what's nice about that is I'm going to head to the key. I'm getting a little little birdie in my ears talking to me. I <laughs> live right there. Uh, is, is that uh, uh, the hurricane hunters are in there, and and so they're giving us right some there. almost live data there right now. All right, to the to the key we go, and uh, to Ian we go. There's four coming ashore, most likely. Ford Myers is going to be the bullseye. There's the three. Summer, and it's southwest of Polk County. I think by the time we get into Polk County, we're going from a two down to a one, and then a tropical storm as it moves into Osceola, Orange, and Seminole County. So there's a look now at the 1 a.m. advisory, the center of the storm, right in the heart of our cone. The things that we've been watching over the last few hours is the drier air building across the Florida panhandle and slow progression to the east. That drier air trying to, at times, get into the southwest side, but because of the intensity of the storms around that eye wall, it's not able to punch in there, which tells me that this is going to be a very powerful hurricane, even in landfall. 24th wave action right now, southwest. Hey, bro, Scotty's hold on. I got to smoke. The storm surge. We had major flooding. Now it's down to moderate flooding here. Miami, you went from yellow, minor flooding, back down to none for now, which is a good trend there. But we still have multiple tornado warnings right now. This is outside. I know you can't see anything, but it's raining. Mm, I'm not sure how far it is out it is, but I'll keep updating. Cause I know I'm about to get my ass kicked. coming in from this way. I don't know if you can see my finger or not. See that light pole? That's about Tampa Bay direction. It's gonna be coming in directly from here and going like this and coming all the way across my house. So, I'm not sure what time it is. It's probably about one or two in the morning. It's a wicked ass looking sky. I have a pretty good phone so you know um see how it just does that. iPhones baby. <laughs> so basically it's just um raining so far but it's, it's fixing to get wicked so i'll keep updating you County, Lake County, Sumter County, uh, impacts are still there, but at least is getting a little bit better, relatively speaking. It looks like those, that tornado risk is just a little lower. As we take a look at the severe weather watches, again, tornado watches have been in these counties for the past couple of hours now. We do expect a tornado watch to lift to the north as Ian continues to move on in. So the severe risk over the next two days, to, uh, today, we're going to be dealing with that severe risk from about central Marion County down towards the south and the east. More of the same on Thursday again as we track those strong gusty winds, those rain bands, and again that threat for tornadoes.